uh, C2K, uh, a good friend of mine, his real name is uh, Celso Santiago, um, met him back in 2002 uh, with his cousin uh, J2K, known as Josh, Joshua Hill, and um, very, very good guy at the time, uh, he didn't speak too much English too well, but he learned over time, he got his you know, fluently and everything. Um, at the time I was wrestling, you know, and I took J2K and said, well, I got a cousin that's interested in being a uh, 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 wrestling with this. I said, okay, I said, bring him aboard. So I'm thinking J2K was basically, you know, driving him. And I met him, and we clicked right away, shook hands, boom, got in the ring. I gave him his first opportunity for the World Championship. He took it. Um, he went off from there. But from all that great success with uh, The Rock and the K Connection, having his own success, um, he also went through a very dark depression. Um, he went through a lot uh, by losing this uncle, you know, basically like his father's mentor, um, really took him to a total um, personal things about his mother, uh, his father. At the time, um, that was the dark side of Central K. That people want to know the drinking, the smoking, uh, girlfriend scenes, and now that to where he was actually not himself. And sometimes when people have that special wrestling connection, people will like boo him or say that he's nothing, he's a liar took effect out of him and always used to come and talk to me and say, yo, why are you doing this to me? I mean, why? Why? And he always told me he always had to prove something. Prove something. Prove something. Um, a lot of things that um, we try not to talk about on this, but I'm glad this is coming up. Um, when they talk about who's the greatest of all time and third, is always it's always me. And I love him as a brother, he loved me, but in the back of his mind, it's like, okay, what about me, too? You know, don't just say rock all the time, give me something, too. And I think that was another reason why he felt the way he felt, you know, from, you know, you know being from his personal life and his career and writing books and stories. I mean, he was going through a lot. You know, that's <clears throat> that totally true. You know, I've been. I've been through a lot in my life, uh, you know, losing my my uncle that uh, passed away. You know, my one of my greatest supporters, one of my greatest, my fan, my he was my mentor, my everything. Just like it took me. I remember that time I was the RUW champion by the time, and it just basically I was just like, you know what, like. The next, baby, next day, like I'm fine. Like I, you know, and I called my man, my my brother John, and John came to the house real quick. I remember came with his father. And um, hello, yeah. Oh, oh shit! I'm halfway back to this door. All right, I'm about, I'm about to get off on Charles. All right. All right, guys, sorry about that. Um, so, <clears throat> like I was saying, you know, I went and I, you know, I, I called John. John was the first person that I called. And, you know, I was crying, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, he came real quick. He came, like, not even five minutes later, he came to my house with, you know, with his dad. I called him my dad, too, you know. And he came, you know, gave me a hug. He said, you okay? Are you fine? I said, you know, I'm not. I'm not okay. And I said, listen, bro, <clears throat> I'm going to have to do this. And I gave him, I basically threw myself from the, 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 you know, the title, and I said, I can't have this right now, you know, and I just like, 
basically, you know, stop stop wrestling. Um, they didn't come back into 2005, and it just basically I was smoking weed, I was always drinking, um, <clears throat> and like you know, like he said, you know, it's like I, you know, and I and to this day I feel like I still gotta prove myself, you know, to people. Like I don't feel like a lot of people take me seriously, and. It doesn't matter what I what I what I, I did, or what I do, you know, because sometimes I'm I'm like you know like damn you know like what else I gotta do, you know, to, for people and it, it's not it's not basically the fans it just basically some of the wrestlers, the fans have always supported me and and, and I love my fans. You know the whispers in the dark. They always supported me. You know, um, it just basically is is some wrestlers, some some wrestlers in the back in the back of wrestling, you know, companies, and you know they basically could come in liar. You know, you're not a legend, and I always felt that way. I always felt like for these 28 years, I always felt like. Everything that I do is not enough. It's not enough, and I had to be like I recreated my character many times, you know. And it's just like okay, like what 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 else? Sometimes I get mad, and it's just like okay, what else do you want me to do? Like when it comes to wrestling, I give my life, my soul. My heart, my blood, my tears, my sweat, and it's still not enough. It's still not enough. You know. <clears throat> it always felt like uh, when people talk about wrestlers and people talk about their favorite wrestler. When it comes to you know, in our business, I mean, it's a cruel business, uh, what we're in, and he always felt, like, I could feel the attention when people said, oh, Rock, or Matic, Hulk Slogan, you know, OG, Slade, I could feel a little bit of attention of, what about me? You know, I've done things, too. Why you guys can't agree to me, too? And it, it, I feel bad, but I talked to him about it. Yeah, I remember that one match that I, I honestly to this day I think it bothered I think it bothered him because I could tell that I was I retired back in two thousand four. Mm-hmm. My last match, uh at the time I was healed. Yeah. And yeah, um yeah. I had retired in yes. two thousand and four. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. him and Maddie, night after night, boom, 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 boom. No matter how much of the hard work of achievement that uh, he was doing, you know, putting in that work, when I'm up there, you know, doing went movies. to another location, I'm exactly. actually trying to, I'm doing movies now. I done, <clears throat> I done did everything I can do in my career. I done everything I wanted to do, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, you know, in that time, in that business, in that field, I've sure. done everything I want. I completed my goals. I, I did what I want. Exactly. Um, I figured it was time for me to look other place for to fulfill another passion mm-hmm. but my number one love was wrestling and always will be yes um he you know he's putting in that work as i said boom boom, boom. but back in 2012 mm-hmm. when matt maddock called me out called me out didn't even know he was gonna call me out yeah, i'm man. actually writing i know right getting yeah, ready yeah. to get started <clears throat> and he called me out mm-hmm. i ignored it Ignored it for like two or three months. Yeah, that made C2K even more determined. Hey, 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 that's you know, Rock's not here. You gotta fuck with me now. It's it's, it's on. Exactly. And exactly. And the moment I came back at Star, the moment I came back and won the world title mm-hmm. and defended it at Star Cage Mania between Matic and myself. Mm-hmm. Um. 
people was calling it the best match of the year. Yes. Best match of the decade. The two biggest names in backyard mm-hmm. wrestling. And I felt he felt like, okay, why y'all put me to the downside? Like, Soccer. why you guys are not put me with them? Mm-hmm. And I felt that. And in his mind, is like, okay, Rock, <clears throat> yeah, you, you're the man, but you left and started doing movies. As soon as you come back, is Exactly. Where the fuck am I? I'm I'm, I'm a nobody, mm-hmm. and he felt that way, and that's what I never wanted him to feel. Exactly. Like that, I told him. I said, "Look, man. I said, you know what I did with Matt wasn't a weekly thing. Exactly. You know, it was just a once in a lifetime. Yes. I'm going back to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. But in his mind, it's like, okay, but when you come back, I'm a nobody, mm-hmm. and it bothers me. That's why." I love him. He's a damn good wrestler, damn good performer. <clears throat> the longest rivalry between him and Maddox. Nobody can never take none of his ach- achievements away. And I try to mortalize that and showcase that. To him, hey, he's done a lot for this business. For him being in 2002 all the way up until now, a lot of guys came and go. Exactly. And he stuck it out. Mm-hmm. Even when I went to Hollywood, he actually said, okay, rock gone. You know, the biggest attraction gone. I'm going to fill my, my, my big brother's shoes and exactly. I'm going to do what he did and I'm going to stay on Max's ass and I'm going to be the man. Yeah. And people were still trying to turn him down. Exactly. And I don't think that was right. No. no it, it's, it was just always like that. It's just like, you know. So... The thing is this, it just, it's always been like that, you know, and it just like, I, I created Darkness Squad, I created, you know, all, you know, and, and all this stuff, and I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe this time, and it, 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 oh, it was always, okay, maybe this time, you know, I would, people would call my name, like, yes, it's okay, and no, and it's just like it, it kind of like a hit and miss, basically. I, I it's like I throw a dart and it just miss. I throw another dart and it's miss. And <clears throat> when it when it came to 2013, I didn't come back into 2019 because I will say I'm done. It's over. I'm done. Like you know, people not going to respect me, people not going to appreciate what I do, they say ain't screwing me, then well, screw them, and that was it, like, it, it, it took, even though, uh, it, it took for RW, RW, uh, RUW 2.0, it took them to basically call me many times, they call my name many times. And I would just say, nah, nah, I'm not coming. I'm done. Like, I was, it was over. Like, it was just like, okay, I'm, I'm done. That's it. Like, for what? People people not going to, you know, appreciate me. People's not going to, no matter what I do, no matter, no matter how many times I, I work hard, I, I put my body to the test. Like, even now, I, 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 I'm I'm wrestling with a broken hand, or uh, or uh, uh, messed my my feet is is not my feet is not the way it used to be, even my back. But I'm here, and it's still like okay. Here we go, deja vu. People not appreciating me. People calling me a liar. People doing this and doing that. So, you know, I mean, I think they, I think we're going to make a part two, right? We're going to make a part two about this because it's, it's, it's a lot. So, stay tuned for the part two of the uh, the longest or oh, rivalries, longest rivalries or dark, whatever you want to call it. Love you all. Have a best night.